Hello everyone, this is Alex from Albu Studio and in today's video I would like to share my experience how to set up any ant miner from Bitmine. After this simple instruction you will be able to set up any kind of ant miner at your mining farm or at home. Let's go to the video to check how we can set up an ant miner. Let's go. Well, to set up any ant miner we will need to find its IP. To do so, the easiest way is to go to your router with a basic IP of 192.168.0.1. Enter. Log into your router. Depending on your router, you will have different options. In my case, there's wired clients and wireless clients. In my case, my ASIC will be a wireless client. And here at the list, you can find different devices that you have connected to your router. In my case, I'm looking for end miner and here how you can get its IP. The second way is to use an application which is available for Mac, Windows and Linux. The application is Angry IP. I will show it right now. Here is our Angry IP scanner. And we are going to do a scan of our network. Start. Okay, our scan is done. Let's see by pink. In this case, you will get more devices scanned if your network is bigger, like mine, and you will need to check them one by one to see which one will be the end miner. Since we know that the 184 is the end miner in my case, we will just copy the IP like this, copy and post it inside our browser. Okay, so this is the menu for your ant miner. It could look differently if you have different model of machine. In my case, it's ant router R3, no, sorry, R5, which is designed to mine Litecoin. Uh, the basic password for any ant miner is username root and password is root again. Let's log in. You might see some different stuff here than mine because this is an ant router, not an ant miner, but the miner interface basically is the same. Okay, so you can see that at the moment I'm mining at Ica pool. I'm mining for around half an hour. Here you can see how much work I did. Accepted shares, difficulty, and time from last share. Over here you can see your hash rate, your average hash rate, your temperature and your chip temperature. To go to settings we'll need to go to configuration. In AntMiner it's configuration. Okay and you can see different pools over here. Standard if you have a new machine you will see only AntMiner pool. Okay so let's try to mine Litecoin. To do so I prefer to use F2 people. Let's go. Okay. To start mining, you will need to select a coin for which your ASIC machine is designed for. Mine is LTC. I will select LTC. Uh, okay, so. Select LTC. Okay, so. You also can see that if you are mining Litecoin at F2 pool, you are getting a bonus of 2000 Doki per one Litecoin. Okay, so here is our panel. You will see here your hash rate when your machine starts mining. And here is our settings for China, North America and Europe. Since I'm in Europe, I will select the version for Europe. Copy. Oh, at the bottom also you have your calculator. Let's go to our end router. Paste. The username will be like this. 01. Save and apply. And we'll need to wait for our settings to apply. This usually takes like 30 seconds. 
When our settings are applied, you can see at our stat menu that we will start mining the coin. Ok, so you can see that we are mining for 8 seconds. The hash rate is almost 12 mega hashes per second. And we are mining at f2pool.com for LTCU. The difficulty is over here, works done over here. We have no shares accepted at the moment, but I think we should be able to see our ain't miner over here. Let's refresh the pool. You can see that at the moment we have no data of our miner. We will need to wait for at least five minutes to get some information. Also to get information about your mining process, you can go to workers. And you can see that our int miner is not over here yet. That means that we have no accepted shares till now. And as soon as we get first accepted share, we'll be able to see our machine mining at the pool. Well, you can see after five minutes of mining, we have two accepted shares. So we should see our machine at our pool menu. Let's go to pool, home, and see if we have anything here. You can see that our machine is over here. It's one miner online, which is 100% of our hash rate. Let's go to workers and we should be able to see it. Yes, we can see it over here with a reported hash rate of almost four mega hashes and an average hash rate for 24 hours of 24 kilohashes, which means that our machine is running fine and the shares are accepted by the pool. And now, using this simple technique, you can set up any end miner from Bitmine. If you need any help setting up your specific miner, I would suggest you to go to f 2 pool and over here you can go to mining tutorials. In mining tutorials, you can select any coins you need to mine. For example, you are mining Bitcoin Cash. To start mining Bitcoin Cash, you can see the settings over here. You need to put them inside your machine and you are ready to go for mining. At the video section down below, I will be putting a link for exchange that you can use for your payouts. And I will also leave a link for F2 pool so that you can start your mining process nice and easy. Well, I hope after this video you have a clear idea how can you set up your int miner and connect it to any pool specifically for you. If this video was helpful for you, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for similar crypto content. Be safe. See you soon.